no, 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 no. Hey, it's total, well, total I nonsense. Mean, I think it's not nonsense, first of all, Kevin. I live in Laurel Canyon. Incredibly haunted. He's in LA. Mr. Hollywood. Mr. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I believe in ghosts. Yeah, they're all over the place. I don't know, we just thought the idea of like a like a show that takes place in the multiverse um, was sort of a cool place to start. And it's got sort of like a grounded feel to the things that they're investigating week to week, but creating like a larger mythology that could sort of like span space and time over the course of hopefully a few seasons. Uh, Tusk was very cool. And so we were able to create uh, you know, different kinds of aliens, uh, different kinds of like travel, uh, both from like an astrophysical perspective, but also like from a made up kind of cool perspective. So it was a, it was a cool opportunity to add to that canon. The show and the way that we're shooting it is going to be like actually kind of throwback filmmaking, where it's a mix of like practical effects. CGI, like enhancement. It's a half hour, so we do what we can with what we're given. But it's going to be a mix of both. And hopefully, the film make it will feel like something you, you know. Obviously, the less 80s, 90s. the less you can show, the, the better. Always, just and just money wise, it's like we can have an arm of a monster that you know appears in frame. <laughs> Yeah, I think you know Los Angeles is sort of a crazy place, and we thought if people were to visit, that'd be a nice place for them to start, you know, from from space. Maybe. But it's also I don't know. We love LA. LA has this like sort of timeless anachronistic quality of shooting and pretending that things that are familiar to you could potentially be something paranormal. It's a for us a very fun idea. And we're hoping that the show will span the country. Uh, we'll, we'll be in different places all the time. Fake different places. Yeah, so it's I mean, not just that. X Files was obviously a huge inspiration. And, you know, the, I mean, the great thing they did was they could, they would, I mean, they shot in Vancouver, but they were always, you felt like they could jump all over the place. And so we not want to be able to have that vision. To give it a, a large a scope. scope yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, you know, I didn't know either of those guys beforehand. And the show, we should say, was was uh, created and written with them attached. And we, we, we pitched it, we sold it with them. It wasn't a piece of casting after we had written the script. So from moment one, I had written like a 15-page uh, first part of a script and sent it to Craig for my management company. I didn't know him, and he read it and was like, oh, there's a thing I want to play. So I met with him. He said, let's do this, and then, but I want to work with Adam Scott. And so I called Adam and, and uh, sent him the same thing. And he was like trying to develop something in this realm already. It was like, this is the perfect thing. I want to work with Greg. So they came on and we went and pitched a show together all over town. And uh, it was a really fun experience. So they're, they're like, they're actually exec producers of the show. They're in every meeting. They're in every additional casting. They're in the script meetings, the notes meetings. They're super involved and very invested, and that was like a really fun way to approach the show. So, it's, as the show will go on throughout the season, you'll find out more and more exactly why they were recruited, but initially you find out that Leroy was sort of this disgraced LAPD detective, so obviously they are using his detective skills, or they come to. Max is a former astrophysicist who believes that his wife was abducted by aliens. Um, and so, at first, Captain LeFray, who is played by Allie Walker, who runs the Bureau, um, she gets a message from this agent who has disappeared from the Bureau, who says, bring me um, Max, Jennifer, Adam, and Leroy Wright, Craig. They can help me. Uh, they can help you find me. Um, so it's left as a little bit of a mystery as to exactly why it's these two guys. But hopefully as the season progresses, we will start to learn more and more exactly why they were chosen. It, it was in and out 
kind of in and out. out. We, we were trying to calibrate when to do it, but it ended up prior to shooting, the month prior to shooting, we ended up thinking that it was going to be a really cool, effective uh, choice. It was always something we were going to do. We just didn't know how early. And part of the nature of the show is it's not 100% serialized. There's going to be like creatures of the week, and we're going to keep the mythology going. So there's going to be standalone episodes, sort of like X Files did, where we then will have fully mythology-based episodes. But as I remember, we were we were really hesitant to like ha to have that piece in the final draft, and then I think the network sort of said, "Just try it." Right? I mean, we had been like, "Okay, the wife will be out there," and then we did it, and it was to our joy. It was like. It, it, Incredibly effective. Uh, yeah, it is. We're still finding it. Like it is. It is a really difficult thing to do, especially in like a short amount of time. And so uh, we're finding that things can be scarier when you just laugh. And sometimes, uh, you know, in action sequences, we end up cutting yeah. jokes because uh, they end up making it feel not not real. The more real as it can make it feel, I think, the happier it will be, the more fun it will be to watch. Sort of offensive that you don't think we're millennials. <laughs> we're 20. Uh, well, there's a bunch of people who, like, disappear in the pilot, and we thought it was cool because it's sort of like... Uh, mentioned that. It speaks to that, but also speaks to the like paranormal aspect. But there's no ghosts in the pilot, which everyone's like, why? And then we are forced to admit that we just thought it was a cool title. <laughs> yeah, it was a discussion, I will say that. It was like, do we change the title? Because then it's like, bah, but it's so, it's so catchy, and you just... But there are ghosts that will appear um, in the sort of... We have as Tom was saying, there are mythology cases where we're tracking the wife and where she is and what happened to the agent checker, but that also, like, a lot of it is, you know, Monster of the Week, Ghost of the Week, ghosts. Werewolf of the Week, so... Episode 2 will feature ghosts. FYI. Yeah. Make it that far. <laughs> Great, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks so much. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it.